Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. Today, we'll be looking at this brew, Mickey's Fine Malt Liquor, 5.6% alcohol by volume, brewed and bottled by the Miller Brewing Company of Milwaukee, Wisconsin in the United States of America. Now, uh, Mickey's was uh, introduced in 1962, making it 53 years old. So uh, it's uh, certainly a uh, malt liquor brand that has stood the test of time, much like uh, Old English and uh, Colt 45 that I've uh, previously reviewed. Anyway, um, this, uh, of course, was uh, very hard to find here in Australia. I mean, here in Australia, you know, malt liquor is um, as rare as rocking horse feces, let's face it. But if you look hard enough, you can find it. Anyway, um, I won't babble on anymore. I'll uh, crack this lovely uh, green 40-ounce uh, uh, bottle of uh, Mickey's Fine Malt Liquor open, and uh, we'll see what it's like. All right, so let's uh, give it a good crack. Get that up to the mic there. All right. Okay, and we'll uh, pour it out into this uh, glass that I got from Ikea many years ago. All right. Okay, so there's uh, obviously a lot left in the bottle there still. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's uh, make an assessment uh, of the appearance as we uh, always do. Well, um, <clears throat> the appearance is, uh, yeah, a very clear golden color. There's, um, you know, a decent amount of carbonation there. You, know, you got like a nice uh, thick, you know, fluffy white head there. I think when I poured it, I had uh, just a little, uh, well, about bang on, in fact, uh, two fingers of, uh, you know, bright white head. All right, so um, yeah, the appearance, of course, uh, you know, looks uh, quite enticing. So um, yeah, let's move on to the uh, aroma. All right. All right, well, what I'm uh, picking up is, uh, this is, you know, some uh, sweet grains there. And uh, perhaps a little hint of citrus and uh, a green apple, perhaps. Yeah, but uh, it's uh, quite a pleasant aroma. Let me uh, top this up though. All right. All right, so um, we've talked about the um, appearance uh, and uh, we've talked about the aroma. So um, that could only mean that uh, it's time for the taste test, the most important part of the review. So um, to you, the audience, Cheers, let's dive in. Mmm, all right. Well, um, my first impression is that um, it's very refreshing. Um, of course, it's, uh, you know, very malt forward. You know, up front, you know, I'm getting some nice, sweet, you know, bready malts there. Uh, yeah, there's definitely um, a noticeable presence of uh, adjuncts there, a little bit of a, a corn sort of uh, flavor, but you know, it uh, complements the, uh, you know, barley malt uh, quite well. Um, you know, uh, no really, no, no real complaints as far as, uh, you know, the, uh, the upfront flavor goes. The, um, the bitterness is, um, you know, very minimal. Of course, um, you know, what you would expect for uh, this type of brew, but uh, good Lord, I must have another gulp. This uh, is really quite tasty, folks. Hmm. Wow. There is a little bit of a hot bite happening too, actually, um, but like I said, the hot presence is like very minimal. Um, but God, it is just such a tasty brew. Yeah, just nice, you know, multi sweetness there. It's not overly sweet, um, but yeah, it really does hit the spot. It's, uh, you know, very, um, you know, crisp and clean. Uh, the body is uh, what I would describe as pretty much bang on, you know, medium. Uh, 
you know, it uh, just goes down so smooth. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's very hard to find anything, uh, you know, at all that's, you know, wrong with this brew. I mean, there's just nothing really offensive about it uh, flavor-wise. It's just, you know, very tasty. You know, it's just got a really bold character about it, you know, and it's really, really satisfying. I mean, I think it's just a case of you really have to, uh, you know, try it for yourself if you can get your hands on it. But, um, yeah, I could imagine myself, uh, you know, chugging back a few of these on a uh, hot summer's day and, uh, you know, feeling uh, very satisfied. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, as for its drinkability, well, yeah, it's, uh, of course, very drinkable. And uh, I guess at 5.6% ABV, you could session it too. Probably, you know, not as much as you could session a brew that's, uh, you know, between, you know, the 4.5 and 5% uh, ABV mark. But you could have a few of these and, um, yeah, not uh, fall flat on your face, I suppose. Anyway, um, I won't talk about the price point because, heck, I paid through the nose for this. <laughs> but uh, the real reason I got my hands on it was just for the sake of reviewing it. But, uh, you know, it's certainly one of those, um, you know, beers you should, uh, uh, you know, give it, you know, you should try. It's definitely worth a go, folks. Um, yeah, it's one you've got to try at least once. Anyway, uh, time to wrap this up so and give it a score out of 10. So I'll have uh, one last gulp. Hmm. All right. It's almost got a sort of um, <clears throat> honey sweetness to it, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, it quickly sort of, you know, dissipates, but um, oh, it's just delicious. Uh, anyway, um, all in all, um, it's a really uh, satisfying brew, uh, you know, that I really uh, can't find anything, uh, you know, I really can't find anything bad to say about it. Uh, so, uh, I'd be more than happy to give it a, uh, a solid 9 out of 10. So, there you go, folks. 9 out of 10 for uh, Mickey's Fine Malt Liquor. So, uh, definitely check it out if you can. All right, well, uh, thanks for joining me once again for another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. I'm just going to kick back and enjoy... Whoa! Whoa. Yes, it is quite carbonated. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to kick back and enjoy the uh, rest of this um, Mickey's Fine Malt Liquor. And um, yeah, so uh, to you folks, fare thee well, all.